Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about PCOS and your weight. Hmm. This is something that a lot of women with PCOS struggle with is maintaining a healthy weight with reasonable effort, right? Reasonable effort. Um, and speaking from experience, <laughs> what got me actually started on this whole women's health journey and research and everything that is honestly an obsession for me right now is the fact that I had ovarian cysts. So PCOS stands for polycystic, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Mm -hmm. So this is cysts on your ovaries. Sometimes they can be really big and burst and it's really painful. Sometimes you can have a ton of smaller ones. Essentially, it's from a hormone imbalance and it messes up your cycle, can cause really bad mood swings, acne, um, weight gain, you know, infertility, fatigue, all these things, right? The list goes on and on. It's not the same in each person, but also realize that um, <laughs> how you feel and how your body, you know, reacts to stress is also going to be different if you have PCOS. Mm-hmm. Yay! So one of the main things that women struggle with though with PCOS is their weight. It can cause them to gain weight and then it is such a struggle to lose it. Just eating clean, eating healthy, and exercising is not going to do a dang thing for, your, for you to lose weight when you have PCOS. Nothing, it won't do anything. And, and moreover, if you stop eating healthy and exercising, you will gain weight like that. Just crazy fast and then it's ridiculous to try and lose it. So, so tough. So how does this happen? Why does this happen? Why is this, you know, a thing for women with PCOS? Well, when somebody has PCOS, typically, you know, and these are things that I see when I do a Dutch test or something like that, um, what we're looking at is that uh, their estrogen levels are gonna be really high, really high, imbalanced with progesterone, and that creates an, an estrogen dominance. Right, and that's something again I've talked about before. I have other videos. Uh, my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. Tons of stuff there, tons of resources, and I have done videos on estrogen dominance there. Uh, but increased estrogen is essentially the thing that's kicking it off, right? You also have increased testosterone. Increased testosterone can do a bunch of really fun stuff in the body. Um, it can, get, you know, cause you to have like facial hair, right? Uh, your hair can fall out, right? There's, um, it can mess with your libido. There's a ton of stuff that can happen from this testosterone. Um, and then the other thing that I see a lot with women with PCOS, and if you were to research this, a lot of clinical things might not have this, but clinically the cases that I see 99% of women that I see with PCOS, they also have an increase of cortisol. Now, what does all of this mean? That your hormones are off, these levels are way too high in your system. What does that mean? It can lead to what's called insulin resistance, which means your system is not producing, maintaining the right amount of insulin for what you're eating, even if you're eating healthy, even if you're eating really good, it's not a good balance because your system can't produce it, can't keep up with the right amount and then you end up just gaining weight. It's, so essentially what happens then with all of this, right? With this verbiage, what this means is whatever you eat, your body will store. You eat a piece of celery, your body's like, oh, thank you, I'm gonna pack this right around my midsection. Yep, right there, mm-hmm, yeah. If you try keto, if you try um, you know, cutting your calories or doing one of those like, I'm eating 500 calories a day for a while, please don't do that, please don't do that. This is what happens. You will, I mean, maybe lose weight right at the beginning, but you'll have a rebound and it'll be horrific. A horrific, horrific rebound. And with that rebound, oftentimes your hormones you know, get worse, your cycle gets worse, PMS, mood swings, all those things. Yay! But how is this a thing, right? What causes these things? It can be a multitude of things in the system, in the body, um, but essentially this is why it, your body is having this insulin resistance, which is preventing you from losing weight. So what do you do? What, how do you shift this and change this? Well, in the 12 week challenge, one of the things that I really focus on for people is not just, okay, let's do these things to lose weight. I mean, great. But if you're not teaching your metabolism to restart at the same time, you're balancing these hormones, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere. Because at some point, this pulley system, right, it's like a tug of war, and one of them's gonna win or lose. And then, without that being balanced, you end up right where you started. So think about the past six months. Think about the past year, two years. 
How many diets have you gone on? How many weird wonky things have you tried? How many different times did you get your hopes up only to feel like garbage, to not get the right result, not keep it and rebound and be worse off than when you started? That whole process, by the way, is also harder on a PCOS body, which means you actually gain more weight from it. It's oh, great, right? Good news, huh? Yeah, yeah. So if you're not working on hormones and working on your metabolism in tandem, it's just not gonna get you anywhere. So how do we do that? Well, this is what I do in the 12-week challenge. I'm gonna put a link right here in the comments so you can get on the wait list for the next 12-week challenge. And we go through this. I go through this with you to make sure that we work on balancing hormones, right? Balancing, getting them to the right level for your body and system, and helping your system maintain that balance, right? And then restarting your metabolism. You, you can't just cut calories. You can't just, you know, do all these like simple tricks to try and lose weight. It won't work. You have to really start with a new foundation. Tear out the old, start with a new foundation of health and rebuild from there. You're going to be amazed at how different you feel, how, how differently your body functions, how much easier it is to start working with your system and you stop fighting against it. So this is, I, I love, love, love going through the 12 week with people. I love seeing the results, right? It, it's amazing. Now, a lot of gals, right, you get excited when you're like, oh look, I dropped another pant size and all those other things, which is so fantastic, right? Yes, but that is a healthy side effect from your body getting healthier. And that's harder to do, right? And it's harder to maintain. So again, one of my other favorite things is hearing from women. I got an email from a gal from, you know, two and a half years ago, we worked together. I'm still doing great. Just wanted, I had a question on this, you know, collagen thing. Should I switch to this? Da 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 da, you know, just a little update and a, and a small question for me, but she just wanted to let you know I'm doing really great. Um, especially with all the stress now, I've been able to maintain and normally I would have gained, you know, 15 to 20 pounds because of the stress in my life right now. And I haven't because I have all these tools. Thank you so much, right? That's the type of thing that we need to be doing as women to help advance our health, right? It's not just about, oh, let's fit in a certain pants. I mean, great. But it's about really getting your system to work better, working with your body and your health so that you can keep it. So that two and a half years from now, you're not struggling still. Think about that. Think about your life two and a half years from now. Do you want to be on the same, you know, up and down <laughs> roller coaster of trying to start over and over and over again? That's exhausting. That's exhausting. So this is why I love, love, love going through the 12 week challenge and love educating women on these important things. These are things I feel like we should have learned right in high school along with so many other things, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, other resources I have for you are my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. There are some um, great pieces of information in here about how to eat for estrogen, for progesterone. Um, I talk about testosterone and cortisol in there as well. Um, so you can get that ordered and sent. It's a, it's a pretty fast read. So won't it's not complicated at all, right? I like to keep my information pretty digestible. Um, and then I also have a podcast called The Female Health Solution. So tons of great, great episodes for you to learn, you know, talking about mindset, lifestyle, and women's health. So that's what I got for you tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions because I know this is one of the most frustrating things for women to deal with. Yeah. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your night.